Hello. I thought today I'd show you just um, a couple of quick ideas for using some maybe leftover five inch squares or maybe a particular collection of five inch squares. Uh, I have a lot of leftover five inch squares. I'm never really sure whether the five inch squares came first or the leftovers. Um, so what I do when I'm using up a lot of the leftover perhaps novelty type ones, a lot of children type novelty ones, fun fabrics, um, I'll cut up some of my leftovers into five inch squares because I find that a really usable size. And so today I'm just going to show you an idea uh, with some five inch squares that are kind of a whole collection of, of nothing that really relates. They're all kind of brights, they're novelty, they might have a bit of fun stuff on them, they might have just some colours, some flowers, maybe some dots, all sorts of different things that you think, well, they wouldn't all go together. But in actual fact, I believe that they can all go together. So I would then decide what size court I want to make and join lots of them up just with my quarter inch seam into strips to go across the quilt and so having joined I've decided on nine squares across for this one and so I've joined nine squares across and I've pressed all the seams one way and when I do the next row I'll press all the seams the other way so that when they join the rows together the seams will go in opposite directions so they'll sit nice and snugly at the join um, and so I've as, I think you can probably see I've got a quilt on the table here. I'll show you a little bit more of that shortly. You may not have a lot of novelty squares. You might have a lot of, say, blue squares or, in my case, red type squares. And I've also got a lot of sort of light, creamy coloured squares. So you might want to put some of those together because you haven't got the novelty ones. And the same sort of thing applies. You could just make a all different reds quilt or all different blues quilt. Or, as you can see up here on my design wall, I've started putting some red and cream alternating. So it might be a blue and white quilt, it might be a red and off-white quilt, it might be a green and blue quilt or a pink and purple quilt. Really the choices are yours, but it was just an idea for using some of what you might already have. Um, and if you haven't got five inch squares, you might have fabrics that you're not sure what to do with. I find that cutting them up into five inch squares is a really good answer because I know that they will get used that way rather than perhaps just bits and pieces um, in a pile. I'm not really good with just piles of fabric. They need to be cut into something. So that was just another idea for you with some five inch squares uh, randomly joining them together. I think a quilt like that could be quite fun. You could do some special quilting in the lighter ones if you wanted to do something like that. There's so many possibilities. I have done a pattern for just putting, it's a really basic pattern, but it's one of my five inch square patterns. It's on my website, gourmetquilter.com. Um, and it's just um, called five inch squares because guess what, it's five inch squares. Um, but it gives you just a bit of a guideline, pop a board around it. And this is the quilt that I have already made and I have used the novelty five inch squares in this quilt. And this is the size that the pattern makes. And I have got some of my fabrics are, are, are a bit plainer just to give a little bit of a break to all the busy busy um, with all the patterns and things but again they've got a little bit something going on they might have a stripe in them they might have dots on them if you're playing a little I sky I spy game with a child you can be looking for a sheep or a turtle or you might look for a buzzy bee there's lots of things on a quilt like this and somehow it just seems to work and pop a nice fun border around the edge and it just seems to bring it all together into a fun quilt so that was just some ideas on how you might use up some leftover five inch squares. Thank you.